I'm holding on to this. We recently visited the Banbury and Cheltenham Direct Railway, built in three stages between 1855 and 1906. Ultimately the line would demand three tunnels carving their way through the undulating Cotswold landscape. Whilst we filmed the abandoned stations along the line, it became a fascination to us of how they did this with only three tunnels. We don't normally get a chance to get right inside. As we started our journey heading east to west, passing the Great Pyramids of Oxfordshire, we wondered how much tunnel success we'd have today. Would we gain full access to these long forgotten relics dug out by navvies 150 years ago? Who knows, but whatever the outcome, we try and give these beautiful long forgotten structures some context and perhaps leave a little legacy behind for them. Anyway, first up was Hook Norton, which houses nature reserves at either end, so the portals themselves are relatively easy to access. Approaching from the northern end first, it's quite a beautiful landscape. So you join us, as we may have explained, uh, looking oh, for the sorry. northern portal of Hook Norton Tunnel, <clears throat> which is the first of three tunnels on this line. Uh, and I will never ever be disappointed in the approaches to tunnels. Um, this one, well, I've not really seen one like this before, where it's all sort of masonry lined about f five feet up, like a stone wall along the side. Beautiful. Not often it's this clear on the way up to a tunnel either. No, I think it's going to get a bit messier. Yeah. Um, all this is part of a nature reserve, of course, but I don't think this side necessarily is. There's a rather hefty landslip up ahead, which is probably a good 10, 15 plus years old, because obviously it's recovered in vegetation, vegetation, trees. But um, yeah, that's a big slip and a half, that is. The construction of the tunnel itself started in 1875, however, its completion was a decade away owing to financial constraints. Hopefully we've got some good shots in there. The water looks great. It's obviously very well flooded. The lining looks fantastic. Good state tunnel, clearly. Right, onwards to the southern entrance, which is another uh, nature reserve, and then we're gonna head down to Chippendall. You go upside. I'm not sure I'm going to make it down the middle because I haven't got to get boots on. All right. Well, I'm going down the middle. Okay. Rebecca's going up the side. Oh. This is riveting YouTube content as we approach the southern portal. We know how to entertain you. Sizable gap still in the whole metal fence, so you can get some good pics from inside. Very um, boring in terms of design. Again, perhaps that tells you about the lack of money that they had when they built it. And again, top bits up there, very like the, um, the Great Central. Great Central was built after this, wasn't it? Like 1900. But nevertheless, onwards to Chipping Norton Tunnel now. On a slightly sunnier day, we managed to get back to Chipping Norton to see what could be seen of the 715 yard tunnel here. The tunnel itself suffered the same delays as Hook. tunnel length was originally designed at 484 yards long. An increase of 150 yards in design occurred in 1877, with a final change once again in an act in 1883 bringing the overall planned length to what it is today at 715 yards.
huge breeze coming through. Um, you can just, with a naked eye, you can just see the vent the other end. Um, heck of a lot of water. Be able to hear the water now um, pouring through the tunnel. Well, this one's much rounder, should we say? Six brick, bricks thick, not very ornate. Um, and of course, you go through the tunnel here and you come out straight away in uh, Chipping Norton Station. Excuse me. Cool. Don't cough. Cricky. No coughing. So we're pretty sure that that's um, the southern spoil heap. I say southern spoil heap. It's another spoil heap. It's right there. Big old lump of earth. Um, just randomly. Just randomly there. It's quite big. Maybe it's too big. I don't know. Um, and we're now walking down to the southern portal. Uh, we're assuming again because we're very close to the southern portal. We're assuming that what you're looking at now, people, is another spore heap. Well, it looks like a much smaller one compared to what we've yeah, seen. Yeah, it does. Be, well, that makes sense because we're, we're much lower down. Okay, so we're like 50 metres lower. Dig out. Yeah, so <laughs> it's obviously all flattened itself out as well. Right, so what they used to do when they used to build tunnels is they didn't used to build a often sorry they didn't often used to build the portal first so they would do a shaft into the ground where the portal was going to be roughly and one of the last things they did was open out the end the actual portal so we stood right now here next to um this which is clearly i, I would suggest one of those spore heaps so they probably didn't open up the tunnel until the last minute and here they dug into the ground at some point around here it'd be capped off put all the spoil heap there and then only at the end would they open up the portals so here we are now look looking at the uh, southern entrance to the tunnel okay we're not gonna have as much luck this end because it's completely underwater um, but we'll see how close we can get I always think it's quite cool, if you can, if you see a culvert, go and have a look at it. And there's a culvert now already underneath this bit that's raised up towards Kingham. So, um, there's no trees to hold on to, so I'm just gonna, just gonna wing it. You don't normally get a chance to get right inside a culvert like this because it's normally um, pretty wet. But this is as dry as you like. Um, it's beautifully inverted all the way along the bottom. Blue brick, blue engineering brick, as so many people have pointed out to us, which is very kind. And yeah, what a treat this is. So we headed east once again for the final tunnel of the day. Already in mind that this was not an easy tunnel to access or visit, the eastern end is completely off limits as it lies in a very grand estate. The western end however is reputed to be just off the A44. A long search online brings up no photos inside the tunnel so we weren't sure what to expect. As we approached the eastern portal that became apparent so worst case we might get nothing from this tunnel. So let's go and have a look. The tunnel itself is only 384 yards long. A quick look at the old maps and therefore the alignment, it certainly seems to be very straight.
we found that there was the smallest of openings at the bottom here, perhaps enough to get a camera inside. However, we were then met with yet another barrier, this time one that would suck all the light from any camera. So we stuck the GoPro in and moved it around a little to try and get the best lighting and the best image. The results unfortunately weren't great. In some ways we were pleased we'd managed to get the camera in this tiny gap at the bottom, but also a little bit disappointed that you could really only see the light from the gaps above. Not even a glimmer from the eastern portal giving us a chance of a view of this structure inside. Thank you so much for watching our little snippet of a tunnel video. Uh, it wasn't the most successful in terms of getting inside the tunnels, but sometimes that's just the way it goes. And uh, our job therefore at the very least is to try and get to the portals and get some good snaps and, uh, and such. We do have a lot planned, however, um, where we have been successful coming up in the very near future. So stay tuned. If you like what we do and you want to join us on our Patreon or YouTube member community, uh, you can sign up using the links in the doobly-doo below. Uh, we do extra content and uh, live streams, that sort of thing for our uh, members and patrons as well. Use the word doobly-doo. I did use doobly-doo. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the video and you're watching this, check out the little bit below and does it say subscribe or subscribed? If you haven't subscribed, please do. Because a lot of you don't. Mm -hmm. Anyway, until next time, thanks again and we'll see you soon.